the Beauty Dish. Today it is time for episode two in my rose fragrance review series that I'm calling A Dozen Roses because I'll be reviewing 12 rose scents by Valentine's Day. So today I'm going to talk about Ballet Rouge from Olympic Orchids. Olympic Orchids is an indie brand in the Pacific Northwest. The owner and perfumer is Ellen Covey, and she launched the brand in 2010, but before that, and I think still currently, she owns an orchid nursery, and she first started making scents inspired by orchids, but now she has a whole range, including a fabulous rose scent, Ballet Rouge. So this scent is a multi-layered, bold, sensuous rose, and I borrowed those three descriptions directly from the copy on the Olympic Orchids website because I think they are completely accurate. Ballet Rouge is a parfum concentration, so it's quite hefty. Um, it's got like, that means it's got 25 to 30 percent perfumery materials in the formula. And here's my little sample of it. Uh, Olympic Orchids has a great has great sampler deals. I think there's a couple different sizes of samplers you can get, but they're really affordable and they give you huge sizes. I think this is a three mil size, so I've worn this a ton and I have a ton of it left. Um, definitely check out the samples if you're interested in this brand, which I do think is a great brand. I talked about Lil in my um, favorite fall fragrances review. That's another one I really like. Okay, so back to Ballet Rouge. This is a Chypra, and they say it has a vintage-like quality to it. So in the base, there's oak moss, there's patchouli, there's musks, and there's labdanum. Uh, labdanum is a dark brown resinous material, and it's really deep and dark and kind of leathery. But that's really not the whole story. I find this fragrance so original and quirky that I can't really connect it to any vintage perfumes that I've sniffed. It's just, it's just its own thing. It's just so different, but it's definitely grand, and it has, you know, that multifaceted, multi-layered kind of Chypra, Chypra thing happening. But let's talk more about the other notes. So the top notes, I have to glance down at my little notes here, are citrus, including bergamot, aldehydes, and they also mentioned red thyme and red mandarin. I wish I knew what red thyme was. I have no clue, but, um, at any rate, I kind of get a slight citrusy sensation, especially that bergamot in the opening, and I, I can experience the aldehydes as well, but what, really, what it really feels like to me is the sensation of mineral water from a fresh mineral spring kind of bubbling up at the beginning. I, I can't get out of my head this quality of water, but there's, there's so much there's so much flavor in it. It's, it's so lush and full of aromatics, um, like mineral water. I just, I don't know a better way to describe it. But within a few minutes, the rose comes in and it, it really fully dominates the fragrance throughout the entire life of the fragrance. The rose is there. But that, those aldehydes, I guess, which I think must create that watery sensation, they, they also stay present almost to the end of the fragrance. So, under this cloak of rose, I kind of, I, I kind of picture this like dark, rich jewel, uh, like rose lava, kind of bubbling up out of the hot spring and overtaking that watery quality and kind of cloaking the fragrance all the way through. The rose is a true red rose, um, like you'd see in the a stereotypical bouquet of roses. There's a bit of the quality of, of the stems and the greenery, and I think that comes from that spring water sensation as well, but it's, it's primarily rose. The heart notes of Ballet Rouge are listed as Fresh Rose Accord, Rose de May, Absolute, and Lang Lang. I can't individually distinguish the Lang Lang. To me, I just get this really unique rose. It's unmistakable as rose, but yet it's so unique. Those, those funky fizzy aldehydes are under there, and there's also an earthiness under this cloak of rose, as you might expect from the Chypra base, but it's never a skanky or dull or cluttered with cobwebs, musty kind of a Chypra, and it does mention on the site that the musks are contemporary musks as opposed to any, you know, older, older molecules that you would find in actual vintage scents. So, it doesn't smell 
directly like a vintage perfume, but it just has that grandeur and that those many, many layers going along with it. In case you couldn't tell by now, I really, really like Ballet Rouge and I love wearing it. That bold rose in the heart stays true for the entire fragrance, which on me is about eight hours. There is no strong transition to a dry down that I can detect. I kind of, once the middle phase really establishes itself, I kind of experience that to the very end. But when I, you know, think about it and I go and I sniff my arm or something, I'll get that gorgeous rose, but then I'll pick out another note or, or something, and I may not be able to distinguish what it is, but another facet of the scent will kind of reveal itself to me. Okay, so kind of on to like the specific, the technical specifics here. Um, I think Ballet Rouge is unisex, and I say that because it's just so darn original, you know, if I haven't said that like four times already. It doesn't, it, it's not that traditional, expected, pretty feminine rose. It's, it's, it's different, and I can't really pigeonhole something that's original, you know, to one gender. So I do think it's unisex. Um, longevity. Like I said, I get about eight hours, which I think is above average. Um, it's, and, and you might get more. I spray fairly conservatively, so I think more sprays. I think you could easily get ten hours out of this scent. Um, it's, it's, it's also just so strong and vivid the entire time you're wearing it. So it never becomes a little ghost, and you know, you're definitely not going to feel cheated when you're wearing this all day. Uh, projection, I think is above average, and I'd actually call it perfect projection. And all the Olympic orchid scents I've tried have beautiful projection. They kind of waft around my body, which I love. So as I'm just going around doing things, you know, I like, I open the refrigerator and there it is. <laughs> and it's, it happens frequently. It's, it's really all, all over you in this kind of nice little bubble. And it's awesome because I will wear it like I am today under a wool sweater and like a thermal shirt and I can smell it under my sweater. I'll put it here and I can smell it through, you know, my layers of winter clothes. So I do think it's a nice fragrance for the winter, for colder months, but when I got it, it was a lot warmer and I think it's great for spring and fall as well. I think it's great for maybe any but the hottest day, but of course that's kind of a personal preference anyway. Okay, what else? Um, settings. You know, I think it's a little too sensual and grand for the office, but again, that's very much personal preference. Um, I don't think it's ever so intense or oppressive in any way that it, it would be offensive in a lot of settings. I might not wear it to a crowded theater, or you know what, I would actually because it's so grand, but I would just spray it very conservatively. So that pretty much covers it. Um, another great thing about Olympic Orchids is that they are a really affordable line, and I think the quality is stellar. So for, and they have lots of different sizes, which is nice. If you want a 5 mil spray, that's $18. A 15 mil screw cap is $35. A 30 mil spray is $65. And they also have an eau de parfum version, so that's going to be a little bit lower concentration than the Parfum, and that comes in a 100 ml bottle for $120. So I think for the price, you are getting an absolutely gorgeous fragrance that's strong and true and long-lasting and so different. Um, so that's my review of Ballet Rouge. Um, let me know if you've tried anything from this line or this fragrance in particular, or if this sounds like it reminds you of anything. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching um, this review in uh, number two in my Dozen Roses series. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you later. Have a wonderful, fragrant day.